Okay, the Genki Bowl uh, complex or whatever this thing should be called is complete. At least for now. I've been at this so long I gotta take a break and it's a good time when the building is uh, done. And that uh, way I'll uh, also remember more accurately to explain everything that I've done. Uh, so let's see where to begin. Oh, I see an error already. There's a wrong color there. Uh, so I used these corrugated steel walls for like one layer of the uh, walls here and then the next layer is this uh, vertical struct wall thingy to make it look like nice. It's like uh, half white and half gray on the walls and then we get uh, abstract walls as uh, windows, these big ones and also the half height or one unit height or whatever ones as well. And then I colored them with the uh, green and the uh, magenta. F the first floor is uh, green glass and magenta on the uh, outlines. And then the next one is the other way around. And then it continues up all the way up here. At some point I had some problems with that to keep it like going every other uh, color uh, swapped and whatnot. Because some of these windows aren't, aren't like uh, at the same height as this uh, tower which I tried to use for reference on what color to pick on which floor and such and then I also put some abstract uh, triangle shapes here to uh, support this thingy here the set has a sky blazing rooftop whatever and then for the roofs I put some of those uh, custom colorable roofs up there and here and over here and there's also some of that uh, corrugated steel uh, roof thingies, arcway, whatever, up there. And then there's plenty of flat roofs and balconies which are f filled with random items. And they're like supposed to be the mascots that you have to kill in Zad Panda Sky Blazing with your chainsaw. Land in there and kill everybody before the time runs out and then use a kinky mana pull to get the fuck out. And it sucks though that there's like nothing that could represent the uh, Manipulated. Although I could put some wagons or something like that, because it is a car that just has a massive human cannon on the back side of it. Uh, is there anything else that would fit? Uh, let's see how it sucks that there's no cars in the urban theme. What kind of urban theme is that? I guess I could do these. Yeah, let's put some Genki metapults in there, but what color? Mm, they could be pink. Let's put them in the corners, because that's where they are in the game. Yeah, oh, get out of the way, doggy. There we go, like that. Maybe mm, one here. Mm. Mm, I don't want to remove these statues. Let's put one in this corner and that corner. So many mana pulps. One over here. Mm, one there. Actually, maybe sh should be facing that away because they like shoot you uh, out out of the building, away from it. Let's change this one to that way and that one to that way. Maybe I can put one in here alongside the barrels. Uh, there we go, so I can see the freaking coaster so I don't click on it when doing the height. Mm, let's put one here down here as well. Hi there we go, plenty of manipults. So yeah, every roof has different kinds of uh, quote unquote mascots in it. There we have some doggies. Down here, some butterflies and snails. There's some skulls and dinosaurs and odd shapes and uh, cauldrons in here and gargoyles over there. And the statues are just decoration. They're they're not supposed to be mascots except for these gargoyle statues, of course. And then over here we got barrels and a. Uh, uh, gallows for some reason <laughs> more barrels up there and then these roofs have some animated spiders and bees uh, let's see was there anything else oh yeah there's some uh, fountains on these roofs for decoration 
And then there's plenty of uh, signs all around this tower, whatever has a uh, sad panda sky blazing signs on it, and a Genki Bowl 7 sign. Same thing down here and down here. Although I'm not sure about the colors, which way are they in the logo. And there might be some uh, blue in there in the logo as well, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check it and switch if needed. Mm, is there anything else? Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the man-eating plants and Egyptian statues down there. And there's another sign, sexy kitten orgasm. I put it in uh, purple this time. And that's the uh, color choice of the Third Street Saints gang. Your gang in the Saints Row games. Um, and plenty of rides are going into the building, of course. Hyperventilation through here, and there's a helix, and through there as well. Mm, and then, of course, super ethical PR opportunity goes through here and there. All kinds of tunnels and down there. And then I covered up all these rides through the small ones. Sexy kitten orgasm, super ethical reality climax, uh, rough, uh, angry tigers, apocalypse, Genki, and sad panda sky blazing. Everything is fully covered by the building for those rides. I still, I still have to cover this uh, station for the uh, PR opportunity, but that's for another session later on. Although I could could do some colors for this. Uh, Right now, that shouldn't take too long. Mm -hmm. Let's do the main one first. But what color should it be? Something wacky, maybe. Maybe keep up with the uh, pink, magenta, and green theme here. Or the road could be like uh, gray or black to represent asphalt. Uh, <laughs> or I could put some saints color in there with the purple. So many options. Oh, this isn't is gonna take a while after all. <laughs> uh, green. Uh, it sucks that you can't or can change this color, but it doesn't affect anything. Would be nice if it changed like these sides and the middle thing or something. That would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Purple. Uh, well, then again, this place has plenty of purple already. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It sort of blends in with these. Uh, trees over here, at least the green part, and the cars already have plenty of magenta and some pink in there as well. Now for the uh, next uh, themed area, let's go over to Asia, alternate color scheme 1, activate! <laughs> Let's try some that, some of this, or it could be some brown, although I've used, used brown supports already on the monorail. And I also use these supports on the coasters, I don't know what else we get, pink, matches nicely. Or hmm, maybe some kind of green. <laughs> what colors did I use on the other car ride? Uh, looks like brown supports and uh, cream colored. Uh, and what should we call it? Track. Let's try some green for this then, maybe. 
Hmm. Yeah, the other way around. Hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Although I don't know yet what uh, what color I'm gonna use for this car ride right in the jungle to Unaria. So if I end up with this, then I need to change this or that. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to Egypt. Wait a minute, which which area is this piece in? I think it's in the Asian one. Egypt. Cover it up if I can see it from some angle. Here we go. It could be like sand colored. It sucks though that you can't choose this sand color. It would be nice to have like a uh, uh, instead of all these set colors, you would have a. Uh, R RGB map or whatever it's called, where you can just like point at any uh, any point of it, any pixel in it, and get a different color. <laughs> but we don't have have that, so we gotta make do with this. Maybe not white on that. Could be golden or yellow. <laughs> Maybe not red. Maybe this one should be yellow. <laughs> Mm, it could be just both sand colored because it looks slightly different. Mm -hmm. no, that's a bit too bright, and this one is a bit too dark. <laughs> I guess I could go for that, although the coasters already have yellow supports. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, let's just go sand, fully sand. It's like a Safari rally, whatever desert rally. Now for astonishing abstractia. Uh, hmm, purple, maybe, although I already used purple sports over here. So, what else we get? Well, of course, there's plenty of colors over here. Oh crap! God damn explosions running my recordings. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of pukes here. Holy shit. What the fuck happened here? Where are you, stupid handyman? Why is he not going in there? What the hell? Maybe it's because it's like on the edge of both these guys. Uh, territory, get in there, you lazy fucks. <laughs> oh my, uh. Park value jumped immediately by quite a bit when I took care of those. Oh man, the vandals have really hit here. No wonder with that amount of pukes, of course. They took a... a watch them call it, what's that saying? A number. Made a number of, on this place. How, how the fuck does it go? Uh, I don't remember. Well, let's say they really went to town on this place. I uh, did a number on it, that's the same. I really did a number on this place. Uh, I can I can uh, replace those off camera. Let's just make sure there's security in here. Uh, so where was I? Colors, colors. Mm, when I was so rudely interrupted by explosions. For those of you that haven't heard about it, they were building a subway underneath my house. Exploding uh, bedrock or whatever, granite, uh, granite, which is uh, what uh, most of Finland's ground is made of. 
<laughs> oh, why am I changing that color? It doesn't matter. Hmm, it could be black or gray over here. Kind of like a black more because then the uh, sides and center uh, pop out more than in the gray. They just blend in. Let's do it like that. Uh, is that all of it? Let's see. Like this. <laughs> Make sure the uh, uh, color changes when the uh, theme zone changes. Do, 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 do. Looks good, looks good. Oh man, there's pukes on this side as well. What the fuck? Why are these guys not doing their job? Maybe I need to hire a third one, like specifically on these, like uh, three or four, four uh, quadrants or whatever you want to call these. Oh well, this guy. Only has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take that one out. Uh, so that's card. Uh, now let's take a look at the excitement ratings if any of them have changed. Although I don't really remember what they were before. I have to check the tapes. 11.40 on hyperventilation, very nice. Although it might might have already been like fully upgraded uh, before I built this. Because there's quite a bit of scenery in here, like this skyscraper and this stuff. And plenty of rides that will uh, boost its excitement. And about the car ride, 4.44, hmm. I think it was lower before that, although I'm not sure. <laughs> it should go up with all this crap in here. Uh, how about these small rides? Oh, look at that, there's nobody on the ride. Right. <laughs> They're probably bitching about the price because it took me so long to make this thing. Uh, nobody's thinking about it, damn it. I'm gonna have to check all the prices off camera again. Yeah, looks like it's same thing on said panda sky blazing and the circus as well looking at the 2.10 and 2.3 although I'm not sure if these can even be raised very much by a scenery I remember this one was 210 or 220 or something like that it wasn't a round number it could have been this one that I remember, I don't know. Uh, oh, about the maze, where you at? 2.35, I have no idea what it was before, how about that panda? Skydiving, I mean blazing, 2.90. Yeah, might have might have gone up by a bit. Itsy bitsy weeny beeny teeny beeny bit. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I forget to mention about this building. <laughs> Once again, it took like three hours almost or something like that, and then I explained it in five minutes. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the uh, balcony uh, railings here. I used the wooden post fence, and the coloring on them goes based on the window. It follows the uh, color that the window has on its uh, borders. Like here the glass is green but the border is magenta, so I used magenta on the, uh, on the railings. And down here it's green. At first I like uh, alternated every other piece with green and magenta, but then I decided to do this instead. Wait a minute, are those... Uh, at some point I also colored so I used some pink on stuff instead of magenta but then I changed it I'm trying to see if these windows are pink or magenta oh, they are magenta they just look so uh, pale or 
the light uh, because of the white background. Although I do see an error there. Let's change that that piece, put it back, but orient it the other way so that it matches the surroundings. Put the window back. There we go. Mm. Oh, wait a minute, there's still another error. I forgot to do this. Come on, get in there. Because now you can see, like, the corner of the uh, triangle there. Because it doesn't reach the floor fully. So let's just put these around it to cover it up. An optical illusion. All the way around. There we go. <laughs> Is there anything else? Oh, there's some graves <laughs> down there. Forgot to mention those. More mascots supposed to be. And there's bushes in there, even though it's technically not a roof. You <laughs> gotta be a real pro, pro to be able to uh, land in there. And some bushes on this balcony as well. Another side up there, Genki Pole. Genki, Genki, Genki Pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's probably gonna be it for this session. I think that was everything that I did. And uh, for the next one, I'll probably continue with the scenery first because I really want to fill this turbo town here. I'll add some more stuff down there and make a building here of some sort and then cover up this stand and make a pit stop and then I shall move over here to the jungle probably do a coaster in it first or something and then smaller rides around it and whatnot so leave suggestions on what coaster it should be I was thinking maybe the uh, water coaster or something like that but I am open su to suggestions, so leave lots of them, and I will see you guys in the next session. Bye-bye!